going on guys? Welcome back to our MLB trade deadline update. It is July 29th and we don't really have too many trades but there is one trade that could possibly be happening that is major. So we will be talking about that at the end of the video but we will be starting it off with Jordan Romano. The closer for the Blue Jays is injured. This may derail some of their trade deadline ideas and they will most likely acquire a closer at the deadline with this new injury. And coming out from the Yankees and Red Sox general managers, they will both be buyers, meaning all five teams in the American League East division will all be buyers. Not all of the teams can be playoff teams, and in my opinion, only three of them will, and those teams will be the Orioles, Rays, and Blue Jays. So we'll see how that works out for the Red Sox and Yankees. Next up, we have the fact that Nolan Arenado and Max Scherzer, as of yesterday, have not talked about trades with their teams whatsoever. And also, as of this morning, the Rangers are going for Justin Verlander. But we have some breaking news that happened just about 10 minutes before recording. The Rangers and Mets have a deal for Max Serger, pending Max Serger's no-trade clause if he is willing to go to the Rangers. That is what's ending the deal right now. The Mets and Rangers have both agreed. The last person who needs to agree to this deal is, in fact, Max Serger. And finally, we have the White Sox potentially trading Eloy Jimenez. I don't really think it's a great idea, but I guess they could do it, even though Eloy is still young and he still has a few years left on his contract. And finally, to end out this video, we'll be doing the daily Immaculate Grid, so let's get into that right now. So we are here doing the Immaculate Grid today. You should be able to see it on the screen. I'm not 100% sure if you can. So we're just going to be thinking about this while we do it. I usually try to get a lower rarity score, so let's just get started. Um, here I'm going to go with John Smoltz. Can you see me typing up there? I'm not 100% sure. I think you can. I don't know why it just sent me to the bottom. Um, let me upper that a little bit so you can see it. We are going to go with Greg Maddox here sending me to the bottom. It's kind of annoying. Um, Red Sox 21 season. I don't think Babe Ruth did it. Roger Clemens seems a little obvious, so let's go with Cy Young. 3%. Orioles Boston. I'm not really 100% sure. I think we'll skip that one for now. White Sox Braves. There's Tuki Toussaint. So I'll use that one. Braves Orioles. I feel like someone was traded here pretty recently, but I'm not totally thinking of one. Um, Jim Palmer definitely won a Cy Young for the Orioles. That's really bad for my rarity score. Did Mark Burley ever I don't think Mark Burley ever won one. Tom Seaver won one, but it wasn't for the White Sox. Let's see here. White Sox, Red Sox. Both the Sox. Carlton Fisk. Okay, we have three more. I don't think I'm going to get this one because I really cannot think of anyone who played for both of these teams. Or, not both of these teams, but the White Sox and one of Cy Young. I cannot think of anyone at all. And then Baltimore Red Sox and Baltimore Atlanta. I feel like I can definitely get, but I've, I'm completely blanking right now. I'm going to be honest. I literally have no idea. I've been sitting here for like 30 seconds just thinking about this and quiet, and I have no clue. I'm going to keep thinking about this, and then I might just have to give up and I might just guess someone here because I really have no clue for who could who it could be there. I'm trying to think of like bullpen arms that might have played for both of these teams but I'm completely blanking right now. But no, Christian Arroyo definitely did not play for the Orioles in his career. Yeah, I cannot think of it at all. I think we're just going to end it there. Um, I mean, I wish I could have gotten this. Like, I guess I'll just... Might as well just put out some guesses. Mark Burley... That's not who I wanted to click, but okay. Mark Burley. And then we have our last guess. I mean, I guess I'll just guess Tom Seaver and see if it works. Well, it didn't. Our rarity score was not good. Who did we miss? Okay, we, Steve Pierce. I'm not super angry at that. Nick Markakis. Yeah. Jack McDowell. I would have never gotten Jack McDowell, so... Not terrible, and only 39% of people got this one, and low 50s for this one, so the three most uncommon ones to get I didn't get, but I definitely could have done better, I think. Um, I'm going to start doing this every single day on the channel, so I hope you do enjoy that.